Hi folks, Jason Webster here, lead commercial agronomist for Precision Planning. Hey, we're at the PTI farm today and we're out scouting corn and I thought I'd kind of show you what we're, uh, what we're working with with our corn planting date study. So each and every year we try to determine when the best time to plant corn is. And we'll start early in the season when, when it's still cold and, and we, we do wait for it to get fit as fit as we can, but we want to monitor if we plant real early versus real late. What is the yield difference and what is kind of the sweet spot of the planting season? So we're right in front of our May 6th planting date. Matter of fact, this was our winter a year ago. We'll talk more about that here in a second, but this is a May 6th planting date and, and you can see this corn planted on May 6th is going through pollination right now. We're in full pollen shed. You can see we've got silks. We're going through that reproduction process. Right now is a very critical point in this corn plant's life. But May 6th, uh, planting date as we're filming this, this is the 10th of July. We're just after the 4th of July, which is pretty typical for us to be pollinating uh, right after the 4th of July, right during. Now, this whole plot is, is, is we're trying to, to measure planting date, but we're also trying to measure a couple other things. You'll notice on the sign, it says it's a starter fertilizer study. So you can imagine when we're planting in cold, wet conditions early in the season, we may need a starter fertilizer. So we want to evaluate starter fertilizer performance from early planting dates all the way to our last planting date well into June. We also take the opportunity to look at some different hybrids. You can see we've got a, we got a 115 day hybrid and we've also got 109 hybrid in this study as well. So we can start to look at different maturities of corn to see how they do yield wise. Again, with early planting dates to later planting dates. All right. So this is the May 6th planting date. We've got some earlier ones in, in April. And as we walk down this plot, you'll see the difference in some of these corn hybrids in growth stage and overall height of the corn plant. But all of these planting dates, these different planting dates are gonna pollinate at different times. And depending on the weather, um, you know, that, that's going to dictate our yield potential. Now, what is the difference in yield or what has been the difference in yield as we've looked at corn planting date entries in past years? Let's go take a look. All right, so since we've been here at the PTI farm, we've been tracking corn planting date yield. And we've got data entries from 2018 through 2023. So this multi-year data has told us that our sweet spot for planting corn, to no surprise to anyone, is the third week of April to the first week of May. That is our sweet spot. And again, no surprise, I think that's those are pretty typical planting dates and those have offered us the highest yields in the past. What this does tell me though, is the risk reward. At this PTI farm, we're always measuring how much risk am I going to have to take to get a high reward. And with early planting dates in corn, it's pretty risky. And in my opinion, pretty low reward. Why do I say that? Well, just look at the data. You know, when we push planting conditions, we plant too early, yields can fall off drastically. I think there's more risk on the early side than there is on the later side. At least that's what our long-term data is telling us. So, if we want to plant early in colder weather conditions, we probably shouldn't be focusing on corn. We should be focusing on soybeans and then let's wait for things to get fit and then let's go plant corn. Let me show you what happened in 2023. We pushed conditions way too early. My neighbors were planting corn and I wanted to plant too, but I knew it wasn't quite fit, but we did. And some of those planting date entries ended up costing me about 33 bushel per acre compared to my best planting date, which was May 5th. Okay. Even waiting two weeks later from April 13th and coming in April 24th, we were still losing 16 to 17 bushel to the acre. How does that equate to dollars per acre? Well, we're at $180 losses on our earliest planting date and $90 losses on our April 24th planting date. Those are substantial. Matter of fact, the $180 loss from our first early planting date on April 13th ended up being our third worst return on investment in 2023. You see, we track return on investment. We track the things that make us the most money and the things that lose us the most money. And planting corn too early in 2023 was one of our big losers at number three at $180 loss per acre. One of the things I've learned with corn planting date is be patient, wait for soils to warm, wait for soils to be fit. We don't wanna be causing a bunch of compaction out there. We've got technology like speed tube where we can plant fast. And so our methodology is that 
You know, if it's cold and wet, we'll go plant soybeans. We'll wait for uh, the corn, you know, soils to get warmer and fed, and then we'll go plant fast and furiously. We'll get it done quick. But the important thing is we'll do it right. <laughs>